Hey guys, Dane Potter with Go Engineer. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tip video on how to create a custom property from the total length of a 3D sketch. The first thing we need to do is create a new 3D sketch for reference only so that way we can do as we wish with it and not damage the original sketch. So what I'm going to do in this new sketch, I'm just going to convert the entities from the original sketch. Say OK. Add my dimension values that I'm going to put in the equation to add all this up. In case you didn't know, to create a chord length, all you need to do is select on the two endpoints and then the arc, and that will create your chord length. And while in the sketch, we need to open our equations manager, give the global variable a name, and then just pick the reference dimensions and add them together. And this equation is going to give us a total value of what that equals. 8.99 inches is the total length of our 3D sketch. The final step is to go to File Properties, Custom, and add a new custom property. So we're going to name this Total Length. And we need to add the global variable that we made for the equation in the value text expression field. And the way we do that is using quotations with the name of the global variable at part name. And you see here we have a property name, a value text expression, and an equated value. Now you can use this custom property in notes, your bill of materials, or any place that you can link data. Thank you for watching this quick tip from Go Engineer.